In today's video, I'm going to show you how to insert checkboxes based on cell values here in Google Sheets. So I have my example data set right here and I want to make it look nicer by inserting a checkbox instead of these yes or no values. The problem is the default behavior of checkboxes are only trues and falses. So if I try and turn this into a checkbox right here, let me just select that range, go to data on the menu bar, select data validation, and add a rule, what will be suggested to me would be a drop down instead of a checkbox. Because you can have these two options right here, which you can easily add. But these are only two options. It would be more difficult for me to select on that drop down and then select no, then yes, instead of just ticking on that checkbox if my answer to this one is just yes. So if I try and do validate it as a checkbox, let's go to criteria, select checkbox right here it will tell me that it's invalid because this cell's contents violate its validation rule because again the default behavior for checkboxes are only trues and false but if we check on this checkbox right here where it says use custom cell values it will now enable us to put in our own values in response to a checkbox and an unchecked box so for checked we have true instead of true we are going to put in yes right there and you'll see right away that the yeses in my data have already turned into checked boxes next one if we put in no right here you'll see that those no's have turned into unticked or unchecked boxes and there you have it so we're just going to put in reject the input click on done and now we have turned our yeses and no's into checked and unchecked boxes so this is much easier for me instead of a drop down. I can just easily check it, uncheck it, check it, uncheck it, depending on my data, which for this example, if it's a project is finished, if it's a check one, then it's yes. If it's not checked, then it's a no. Let's try that with another example. For this one, we have an attendance for first grade students. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to turn in this present and absent attendance into a checkbox, which would again make it easier for us to just tick and untick those boxes to represent the attendance. If the student was just in, it's a check mark. If he was absent, then no check mark. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, select your data right here. We still have our data validation rules open on the right. So let's just add a rule. We've selected our range. Again, it's still suggesting a drop down, which we're not going to do. So just select that, go to checkbox. The same thing, check on the use custom cell values and put in the values that you want for your checked and unchecked boxes. So again, we have present. And for the unchecked, it's absent. And there you have it. We have turned our values into check boxes by using the custom cell values here in our data validation. Select reject the input and click on done. And there you have it. That's how to insert checkboxes based on cell values here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.